Okay, so the first thing you need is um, newspaper, scrap paper, kitchen paper, something like that, um, because it's very messy. And we're going to try and stick these two pieces down together. Um, as you can see, the very intricate cuts. Um, and you want to check that they're the right way round first and the right way up because something that looks symmetrical isn't always. So make sure they fit on top of each other properly first. Then lay one down. This one back here. And spray. I have this Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, this works quite well. I'm sure there are others that are just as good. So the first thing you do is spray everything quite liberally but not so you drench it and then you'll find when you pick it up it's quite sticky so you then need to when you lay the other one on top you want to make sure your edges fit together perfectly and then the rest should fall into place so Looking there, I think that's going to work. And then you must press all these pieces together. The reason being that this is a repositionable um, adhesive, and so if any of the pieces have air between them, they'll be repositionable and you'll be able to peel them apart. But if they're properly stuck down, then it will be a permanent bond. So there's the first one. And there's a piece that isn't quite stuck to each other. Here's another. Sometimes you have to go in afterwards with a little white glue and find any that didn't quite stick when you were making it and stick them down afterwards. But this is by far the quickest way to stick pieces together that I've found. So I'm just going to repeat it. First of all, you need to remove your paper, which will be very sticky. I'm going to reuse this one just on this side because this is the smaller piece I'm doing now. And I'll move my camera over a little bit. It's a bit windy out here. Otherwise, let's move that. Maybe it will stay. And I'm going to do these two pieces, three pieces, but I'm going to do these two now. So again, these look quite symmetrical, but for example, look, one of these is this way and one of those is that way. So check first before you put any glue on that you're stuck in the right place. There's a little piece that hasn't come out, but we'll sort that out in a second. And that they, they look good. Like that. Actually, that's a cut. We'll just leave that. So, here we go again. Spray quite liberally. Don't go too mad. And then, I always pick them up off the paper because the paper is very sticky too. And again, you need to line up the edges and the corners so you can get it to lie. It's a little fiddly, but it really is I don't like that. And it will come apart for a little while. Let's do it from the top instead. It's difficult to do it on camera and get the precision I really want. But that's looking pretty good. And make sure the edges stay together all the way down. And there you have. See that bit there, not quite stuck together? Push them flat. Make sure you push everything flat, preferably on a clean flat surface, which I haven't got out here. I should normally have some more paper. I'm a bit short at the moment. And we'll do one more. I'm not going to put it on that because that's very sticky. So that one's going. Put that aside. And a clean piece. And the candle just a second and there's the one I just stuck together make sure that 
they fit properly again and they do actually it's that way round that's it so do that one and this liberal spray yep. corners and edges lined up nicely and there we are three pieces stuck together now you'll find when you finished it it does feel quite sticky still this is because basically all the edges have got glue on them as well so I take them in and I let them I stand them up like that inside until they dry off and then you'll find it's not sticky a bit later on it'll just be nice and firm and stuck and that's it that's how I do it